Maryland CDL Air Brakes Test. Question 1. Repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning, the brake pedal may result in No change of brake air pressure The loss of brake air pressure A buildup of brake air pressure Answer The loss of brake air pressure Question 2. Excessive heat in the brakes can cause the Brake lines to plug Brakes to fade or fail Modulating control valve to wear out Answer Brakes to fade or fail Question 3. How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes and press brake metal. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Answer Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Question 4. To test the air service brakes you should Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Brake firmly while slowly moving backwards. Stop the vehicle. Put it in low gear, depress the service brake, and then gently pull against the brakes. Answer Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Question 5. How should you check that the spring brakes come on when the air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake metal. Park on a slight incline, drain off air pressure, set parking brakes and check for movement. Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake, move the truck forward slowly and apply the brakes firmly using the brake metal. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake metal. Question 6. During normal driving Spring brakes are usually held back by Bolts and braces Springs Air pressure Answer Air pressure Question 7. To check the brake slack adjusters on SCAM brakes you should park on Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before adjusting. Stop on level ground and apply the parking brakes. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Question 8. The brake chamber fills with air pushing the rod out which moves the, which twists the Slack adjuster and brake camshaft Brake camshaft and tie rod Slack adjuster and tie rod Answer Slack adjuster and brake camshaft 
Question 9. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 45 60 20 Answer 45 Question 10. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure. Spring. Air. Fluid. Answer. Spring. Question 11. When you apply the brakes. The brake shoes, linings are pressed against the S cam, brake drum, slack adjuster. Answer Brake drum. Question 12. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly Answer a yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 13. A slack adjuster's free play needs to be adjusted if it is more than how many inches when you pull hard on it? 1 fourth inch 1 inch 1 half inch Answer. 1 inch Question 14 The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute Answer 3 pounds per square inch in one minute. Question 15. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Release the spring emergency parking brakes to move a short distance. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Answer Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 16. Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 17. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Brakes require heavier return springs. Air brakes use different brake drums. Answer 
takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 18. If air pressure is not built up fast enough within the correct amount of time, your air pressure may drop too low during driving. The alcohol container may be low. You should be ready to use your parking brakes to stop. Answer Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. Question 19 The most important thing to do when a low air pressure warning comes on is Upshift Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Downshift. Answer. Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 20. When is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? Never. If you are conducting your pre-trip inspection, if you will only be away from the truck for a few minutes. Answer. Never. Question 21. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air Brakes require heavier return springs. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Air brakes use different brake drums. Answer Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 22 the air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure you have used in this trip is in the air tanks is going to the brake chambers answer is in the air tanks question 23 before driving a truck or bus with the dual air brake system, the pressure in each air brake system should be at least Psi 100 80 120 Answer 100 Question 24 the air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on right pavement adds about feet 65 feet 45 feet 32 feet Answer 32 feet Question 25 the safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at Psi 100 150 50 Answer 150 Question 26 Air brake equipped vehicles have an air use gauge An air supply pressure gauge A backup hydraulic system Answer An air supply pressure gauge Question 27 How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Drive slowly and pump the brake pedal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor.
drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Answer Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 28. The parking brake applies and releases. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. The brake pedal during normal driving. In the event of an emergency. Answer. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 29. Why must air tanks be drained? To tell you how much air is in the air tanks. To drain all the air out of the tank. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Answer. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Question 30. The air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. 3. 1. 2. Answer. 2. Question 31. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive slowly and pump the brake metal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Pump the brake pedal three times. Then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for 5 seconds. The pedal should not move. Answer Pump the brake pedal 3 times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for 5 seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 32. You should know that your brakes are fading when Pressure on the brake pedal is released and speed increases. You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. The brake feels spongy when pressure is applied. Answer You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Question 33. How should you check that the spring brakes come on when the air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake, move the truck forward slowly, and apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure. Shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Park on a slight incline, drain off air pressure, set parking brakes and check for movement. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Question 34. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by Springs Bolts and braces Air pressure Answer Air pressure Question 35. Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. 
reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 36. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? The low boiling point of water reduces braking power. To keep from fouling the air compressor oil, water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Answer Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Question 37. Excessive use of the service brakes results in overheating which can lead to Proper adjustment of S-cam Increase contact between the brake drums and linings Expansion of the brake drums Answer Expansion of the brake drums Question 38. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Increase braking. Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Answer Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Question 39. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on right pavement adds about feet. 45 feet. 65 feet. 32 feet. Answer. 32 feet. Question 40. The S-CAM Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 41. The air compressor governor controls Air pressure applied to the brakes When air is pumped into the air storage tanks The speed of the air compressor Answer When air is pumped into the air storage tanks Question 42. What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? To have a drink available if you get thirsty. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. So you don't have to drain the air tanks as often. Answer. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 43. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by Springs Air pressure Bolts and braces Answer Air pressure. Question 44. If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? Only on the slippery road. Only when driving downhill. Never. Answer. 
Never. Question 45. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. The S-cam may not rotate back when you release the brake metal. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 46 the safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at Psi 100 150 50 Answer 150 Question 47 to check the brake slack adjusters on S-CAM brakes you should park on. Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before adjusting. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Stop on level ground and apply the parking brakes. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Question 48. The stoplight switch tells you when the air brake system is low on air pressure. Tells you when you need to use your emergency brakes. Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Answer. Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Question 49. The emergency brake system uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 50 To test the air leakage rate you should Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Charge the air system and leave the engine running. Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Answer Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Question 51 the air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute Answer 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute Question 52. The service brake applies and releases. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. In the event of an emergency. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 53. To test the air service brakes you should Brake firmly while slowly moving backwards. 
stop the vehicle, put it in low gear, depress the service brake, and then gently pull against the brakes. Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Answer Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Question 54. The S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because it is shaped like the letter C. It is shaped like the letter N. It is shaped like the letter S. Answer. It is shaped like the letter S. Question 55. The brake pedal in an air brake system. Control the speed of the air compressor. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages. Answer. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 56. What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. To have a drink available if you get thirsty so you don't have to drain the air tanks as often. Answer To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 57. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? The low boiling point of water reduces braking power. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. To keep from fouling the air compressor oil. Answer Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Question 58 a slack adjuster's free play needs to be adjusted if it is more than how many inches when you pull hard on it? One-fourth inch. One-half inch. One inch. Answer. One inch. Question 59. How can you test the low pressure warning signal? While the engine is running, step on and off the brake pedal. Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Answer. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Question 60. The service brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Answer The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 61 The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 3 pounds per square inch in one minute. 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds. 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute. Answer 
3 pounds per square inch in one minute. Question 62. Air brake equipped vehicles have a backup hydraulic system, an air use gauge, an air supply pressure gauge. Answer An air supply pressure gauge. Question 63. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system. Parking. Emergency. Service. Answer. Service. Question 64. The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Use of the spring brakes Braking effect of the engine Use of the front brake limiting valve Answer Braking effect of the engine Question 65. If the air compressor should develop a leak, what keeps the air in the tanks? The one-way check valve. The tractor protection valve. The emergency relay valve. Answer. The one-way check valve. Question 66. The S-CAM Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 67. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather you should Check the oil for alcohol content Change the alcohol from a new bottle Check and fill the alcohol level Answer Check and fill the alcohol level Question 68. For air brake systems in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping at about Psi 125 100 150 Answer 100 Question 69. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly Answer A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 70. The most important thing to do when a low air pressure warning comes on is Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Upshift Downshift Answer Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 71. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive slowly and pump the brake metal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. 
pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for 5 seconds. The pedal should not move. Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Answer Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for 5 seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 72. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Increase braking. Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Answer Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Question 73. Which of these is not a proper time to apply the parking brakes? If you are going to use the parking brakes you need to make sure that they will hold the vehicle. To use parking brakes if you park for less than one hour. If your brakes are very hot. Answer. If your brakes are very hot. Question 74. The driver must be able to see a warning before pressure in the service air tanks falls below. Sigh. 80. 60. 50. Answer. 60. Question 75. The air compressor stops pumping air at what sign? 100 125 150 Answer 125 Question 76 the most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is the Wedge drum Disc drum S-cam drum Answer S-cam drum Question 77 Emergency control braking is when you Apply the hand valve for one second, then push hard on the brake pedal. Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Brake as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels lock, and put the brakes back on again when the wheels start rolling. Answer Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Question 78. If oil and water collects in the air tanks what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could heat up. The brakes could fail. The brakes could lock up. Answer. The brakes could fail. Question 79. What is a dual error brake system? A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. A two braking system, one for daytime and one for nighttime driving. A two braking system, one for each side of the vehicle. Answer A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Question 80. Why must air tanks be drained? To tell you how much air is in the air tanks. 
to drain all the air out of the tank. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Answer To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Question 81 How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes and press brake pedal. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Answer Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Question 82. If you must make an emergency stop, brake so you Use the handbrake before the brake pedal. Use the full power of the brakes to lock them. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Answer Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Question 83. The driver must be able to see a low pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below. 60 pounds per square inch. 80 pounds per square inch. 100 pounds per square inch. Answer 60 pounds per square inch. Question 84. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 20. 60. 100. Answer. 20. Question 85. The brake pedal in an air brake system Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages. Control the speed of the air compressor. Answer Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 86. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended, as little as possible. Answer. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended, Question 87. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at Psi 100 50 150 Answer 150 Question 88. The most important thing to do when a low air pressure warning comes on is Upshift Stop and safely park as soon as possible Downshift Answer Stop and safely park as soon as possible Question 89 which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Never do it without downshifting first.
Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. Answer If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 90 Your bus or truck has a dual error brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 91. The air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure you have used in this trip is going to the brake chambers is in the air tanks. Answer is in the air tanks. Question 92. The air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure is going to the brake chambers. Is in the air tanks. You have used in this trip. Answer. Is in the air tanks. Question 93. The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Use of the spring brakes Use of the front brake limiting valve Braking effect of the engine Answer Braking effect of the engine Question 94 if oil and water collects in the air tanks, what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could fail. The brakes could heat up. The brakes could lock up. Answer The brakes could fail. Question 95 the most important thing to do when a low air pressure warning comes on is Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Upshift Downshift Answer Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 96 you are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 30 35 25 Answer 35 Question 97. To test the air service brakes you should Stop the vehicle, put it in low gear, depress the service brake, and then gently pull against the brakes. Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Brake firmly while slowly moving backwards. Answer Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Question 98. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly. A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly. 
Answer. A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 99. If the air compressor should develop a leak, what keeps the air in the tanks? The tractor protection valve. The emergency relay valve. The one-way check valve. Answer. The one-way check valve. Question 100. What is another name for controlled braking? Hard braking. Squeeze braking. Steady braking. Answer. Squeeze braking. Question 101. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Increase braking. Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Answer. Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Question 102. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Answer Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 103. The air compressor governor controls. The speed of the air compressor. Air pressure applied to the brakes. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Answer. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Question 104. The S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because It is shaped like the letter N. It is shaped like the letter C. It is shaped like the letter S. Answer. It is shaped like the letter S. Question 105. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? The low boiling point of water reduces braking power. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. To keep from fouling the air compressor oil. Answer. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Question 106. What is a dual error brake system? A two brake system. One operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. A two braking system, one for each side of the vehicle. A two braking system, one for daytime and one for nighttime driving. Answer A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Question 107. The proper method of braking when going down a long and or steep grades after selecting the proper gear is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 5. 
15 10 Answer 5 Question 108 How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes and press brake pedal. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Answer Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes. Pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Question 109. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One half. One fourth. One third. Answer. One half. Question 110. To test the air service brakes you should. Brake firmly while slowly moving backwards. Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Stop the vehicle. Put it in low gear, depress the service brake, and then gently pull against the brakes. Answer Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Question 111 When is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? If you are conducting your pre-trip inspection, never. If you will only be away from the truck for a few minutes. Answer. Never. Question 112. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Drive slowly and pump the brake pedal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Answer Pump the brake pedal three times. Then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for 5 seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 113. Which is the first thing you should do when a low air pressure warning comes on? Upshift. Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Downshift. Answer. Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 114. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 20. 45 60 Answer 45 Question 115 The proper method of braking when going down a long and or steep grades after selecting the proper gear is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 15 10 5 Answer 5
Question 116. What are the slack adjusters? It is an adjusting nut under the cap to adjust the springs. It is the space between the back wheels. It is an adjusting nut on that the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Answer It is an adjusting nut on that the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Question 117 The S Cam Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 118. The emergency brake system Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 119 The parking or emergency brake on a heavy vehicle can only be held in position by something that cannot leak away, like Spring pressure, Hydraulic pressure. Air pressure. Answer. Spring pressure. Question 120. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. The S cam may not rotate back when you release the brake metal. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 121 For air brake systems in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping at about Psi 100 125 150 Answer 100 Question 122 if you do not have automatic tank drains, how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage tanks? Once a week. At the end of each day of driving. After every four hours of service. Answer. At the end of each day of driving. Question 123. The air compressor stops pumping air at what sign? 150 125 100 Answer 125 Question 124. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Drive slowly and pump the brake pedal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. 
drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Answer. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 125. Air brake equipped vehicles have an air use gauge, a backup hydraulic system, an air supply pressure gauge. Answer An air supply pressure gauge. Question 126. An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 150 125 75 Answer 125 Question 127 why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? So you can coast downhill. So you can go through the gears on the way down. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Answer So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.